hours worth of satellite imagery shown just a few clouds drifting by and it's going to be a very nice afternoon this is a day to take advantage of lawnmower is going to be doing overtime and a storm that has been absolutely devastating for the gulf coast likely going to be more of a nuisance for us but still we've got some issues to track as we get later in the week and there's that very obvious massive cloud cover associated with some heavier rain east and of course the core of harvey Still spinning down across parts of Louisiana and East Texas. And then as if there isn't enough going on already, look at that, that's Irma. Tropical Storm Irma, way out in the Atlantic. We're not going to spend a lot of time on that one, though. We're going to talk more about what's going on with Harvey because we do have it officially on shore. It's made its way out of the Gulf, but all the way into eastern uh, parts of, uh, well, the western Florida panhandle creeping up on Atlanta. You've got bands of heavier rain tracking in there. There's the swirl of Harvey as it's made its way inland. So... Houston seeing it tapering off, at least uh, in Houston proper, but East Texas still seeing torrential rainfall coming down. You can easily you know, pick out that uh, swirl there. And look at the rainfall just over the past 24 hours. They've had 20 inches into far eastern Texas right along the Louisiana state line and into western Louisiana, and then it just rapidly cuts off. So at least Houstonites going to breathe a little bit of a relief. But uh, it's not much when you consider how much rain they have picked up Friday through Tuesday. If you hadn't heard, they set a record, and not just a record, a record. The all-time Texas and lower 48 continental United States record for tropical rainfall. Previous record is 48 inches with Amelia back in 1978, and Houston just essentially blew past their annual average precipitation in less than a week. Here's uh, Harvey. It's still a tropical storm, 45 mile per hour sustained winds. The hurricane center drops it down from a tropical storm and starts to do that uh, transition from a tropical system over to an extra tropical system as it loses tropical characteristics. And it's weakening as it goes, but still packing a punch. So this gets you into about Friday morning. Friday and through the day Saturday, this is Saturday morning, it's pretty much directly overhead. We've got some potential issues to contend with. So this is going to hit right into Friday and Saturday. And those issues are going to be heavy rainfall and also the potential for some stronger storms. The heaviest rain over western Kentucky, I think we're going to be roughly in about a one to four inch range. That's how much the spread could be. And we're also going to be in an environment where there's not going to be a lot of instability to work with, but high shear, which means we could have a situation, especially into Friday, where we have some rotation within these storms. So things may get hopping with some warnings out there. Here you can see where the core of the heaviest rain is going to be, western Kentucky. They've got a flash flood watch up through west Tennessee. It may be expanded into western Kentucky as you run right down uh, where that heavier rain was that I just showed you. So... Things are about to get hopping around here. There'll be scattered showers and storms tomorrow. The bulk of this, I still think, passes through here Friday into Saturday. We're in the low, maybe mid-80s today, partly sunny skies. Again, a day to take advantage of. Mostly cloudy, a few showers and storms down south. Tomorrow, we will start to see that moisture bubbling north. Scattered showers and storms likely down south and eventually getting into here. So by Thursday night through Saturday afternoon, that'll be the prime time for us to have, deal with the impact of that departing and weakening system, although it'll still pack a punch highs, low to mid-70s, so we're going to cool down as well. The worst of it is gone by the end of the weekend and could be tracking additional showers and storms toward the middle of next week.